Wait, I forgot to promo. I was so busy discussing like the update and thinking about what cat I want, I forgot to actually do the promos. Just think about which cat I want. Try to think of a meme option, but I'll probably just follow my heart. I can actually get into it after I switch scenes and unmute the game, which is kind of loud. I'm probably gonna have to like turn uh, turn it off, turn decrease the volume level to a decibel decrease. Let's see. I sort of pre-filled all the character creation stuff. I'm picking the new farm because obligation to see new stuff. Options. Remix community center, which is not gonna matter because I'm gonna go Georgia anyway. Remixed mine. It's technically advantageous. It's technically advantageous to like pick as many captains as you want. But In the intro because because who can forget like the shabby bed cat it's oh yes it's silk song because I can't think of anything but also because I heard silk song news like recently I heard it's gonna be right around the corner it's probably, it's probably not gonna be but it's, it's on the horizon So I got Stardew Valley like when it first came out, like I think it was like maybe eight years ago or something. Something like that. And at first I didn't think much of the bed. But like people around me were, were losing their minds about the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Like back in the day, I, I never thought much of this, but people around me were all like losing their minds over this bed. And I looked at it. I look at it now and I'm thinking, man. Can you believe that I used to live like that? Imagine not having a good mattress. Six, six years later. Selling my soul to Georgia this run. Something, something about land development. Empty. 
decolon. I always thought decolon, like, if your hard drive is named decolon or something, it looks like a sad face. Which is probably unintentional, but I feel like it's fitting. Yes, right, ch 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 farm. Yeah. Like, okay, it gets even better when, like, you consider the fact that I was really thinking about, like, I almost wanted to wait for, like, some of the mods to catch up, because one of the things I wanted most was the automate mod. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to, like, set up, like, a hundred machines and have them all automated. Because I don't want to, like, put stuff in them and take them out one by one. But... It goes even weirder, because... I picked the farm that emphasizes animals. So, like it or not, I'm probably going to have to actually care for some animals. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you're wondering where I got this name from, I asked Miri, Miri the giraffe, and they told me to name it this. So I, why not? I'm gonna make bank off this land. One of the reasons I never picked Joja before was because like nobody really likes to pick Joja, and also because I didn't want to make you sad. Yeah. It was either that or farm farm. The story of naming my farm, Farm Farm, is like a funny one. Because as a kid, I played like Rune Factory and Harvest Moon. And when they asked me like what I wanted in my farm, I thought like, oh, I want my farm to just be called Farm. So I, I put in Farm. And then in multiple separate games, it came out as Farm Farm. So that's kind of like my thing. I hope I can change my name, but I think I probably can. Robin. I'm gonna be robbing this land of its natural resources. Okay. Okay, moment to reveal. What does the farm look like? New farm layout. Got the water bowl in the corner there. This is going to be like kind of a challenge because like look at all this unfarmable grassland. I was wondering where Lewis was. Get the mayor. I'm going to sell the shack behind your house. So, when I picked this farm layout, it said that I started with two chickens. So that probably means I start with a coop, and I start with two chickens. So, I don't know if I get to name those chickens, or when I get to name them, but it's, it's probably going to be really soon. So I gotta think of some names. I'm probably going to name one of them Miri, because Miri like, gave me the farm name suggestion. Okay, so if I'm emphasizing animals, I should probably think of some good names for them. I'm probably gonna name that to my friends. I remember I told you, like, I named, like, I was playing my old modded save file, and I named a cow after you, and then you gave birth to a baby cow, and I named it Ash, which is kind of fitting. Okay, okay, time to explore. Do I get my chickens? Look at this in 
Uh, I got a chair. Oh yeah, I can I can put equipables in this thing. Could you always put like clothes and stuff in the dresser on TV? What's the question mark? That's new. Be the weather report. I got hay. I got hay and not seeds. But, uh, I can't click with the, the question mark. It doesn't do anything. Okay. Let's see this new farm. I get a fence. I get blue grass. Yeah, so like... I read, the, I read the description and it said like, this farm has special blue grass that's special. Do I have... Pottery... I can't name them. And I can, I can rename them. Uh... You know what? So I was going to name this one Miri, but I, I've had a thought. Wouldn't it be like way funnier, like if I if I got an ostrich and named them Miri because you know like they're tall and have long necks, and Miri's a giraffe. Okay, so I was thinking, what if I, I named this one Bubby and I named this one Booby? But I'm probably going to name like. Booby after Black Chicken, and I don't really want to like swap around names. I have to think of something. Okay, let's let's explore around. Do I have any food? I have no food. Let's, let's look around. Take a look around this. See what farm will land there is. I gotta build a silo before I cut grass. Cause if, if I cut grass without a silo, then it just it just goes into ether and goes to waste. Picking a new farm layout is gonna be like a breath of fresh air too, because I always pick the default layout because it's pretty good for farming. And you know, farming is kind of what we do here. Cave. I have this giant rock in my way. Let's see. I have the fishing pond. Do I have any recipes? I have this thing. Hey, what's all this? What's this lock icon? What is, what's this farm experience level thing? My animals. There's a checklist for if you pet your animals now. And you can see, like, uh, their love towards you. Special items and powers. Okay. So. I know what all of, like, I think up to these are. All these things, I don't know what they are. And all these, I don't know what they are. Collections. That's, that's gotta be a carrot, right? Uh, this looks like broccoli. I have no idea what this is. I need fish. There's a second page of fish. There's... Hey, what's new? I, I have no idea what this thing is. This might be a Dorado, but considering it's on the second page, it might be new. Yeah, it probably is. 
So that's the blue discus. I don't know what this and this is. So it looks like there's four new fish in the game. Artifacts. Uh, I, I don't recognize these last four, but I hope they're not new. Minerals, nothing new. Cooking. Achievements. Okay, there's new achievements. And looks like they've overhauled the thing a bit. Well, right, read every book. Go for, go for ribbon. Good neighbors. Good neighbors. I don't, I don't know what this is. The power. That's probably like you'll get in the galaxy sword letters. They've got me. Uh, I have a fence. Okay. Let's check out where the shrine is. I don't I want to like avoid cutting grass because I don't want to waste the fodder. Because now that I actually have animals, I gotta feed them. Especially since I have no seeds. So if I don't feed these animals, I'm not making money. So regrettably I have to actually take care of animals and not just, you know, sell my soul. Where's the shrine? I shuffle my things. See how I shuffle my stuff. Is the shrine like back here? That's not the shrine. Where's the shrine? Did they move the shrine to like another map? Okay. Okay, one thing I heard was that the map now like shows the season. So that's probably what all these like pinkish purple trees are. Hey Patch dude, I'm playing Stardew Valley. And stuff. I'm just I, so this new farm layout and I'm look I'm exploring it now. I'm trying to find where Grandpa's shrine is. But I don't see it anywhere. I should probably like you know actually go out and do stuff. Like actually explore the world. Do a little bit of what I like to call crop circle magic. I'm doing good. Yeah. Got a new cut today. New purple rings. Just get a nice cut. G. I was originally going to play Outer Wilds today, but then I realized the Stardew Valley update is coming out today. So then I sort of pivoted last minute to play this. You know, I gotta like explore the world and see what's out there. I'm, ta I'm talking about in-game, not real life, because why would I ever do that in real life? I don't see the shrine anywhere, so I'm probably gonna find it later. Anyway, this farm layout emphasizes animals. Okay. This map is new. Like, this is different. Because before, this was like a one screen map, but now they expanded it slightly. And now there's a bit of scrolling. Although, it doesn't look that much bigger. So... Huh. I might have actually preferred it to be like 
a one screen no scrolling map because Bateman Light. I feel like I'm playing observation duty because I'm looking I'm looking at this street lamp and I'm thinking, was this street lamp always here? Was this path always here? But this path looks different. This pick table is not here before. This this dirt path was not here before. This bench was not here. This bench was slightly like I went out to the left. I figure what this thing is. I don't know much about like named hairstyles. I probably should maybe because like my mom's a hairstylist. But at the same time, I don't think my mom's very well read in like celebrities and stuff. Loon, I don't know if you're still here, but I'm looking at the calendar and there's some new stuff. On the 12th of spring, it looks like there's a, a bookseller thing. The Apex Festival, which I will absolutely dominate. And then the 15th to the 17th, there's something new. I'm going to have to check that out. I don't want to skip days because I feel like that's against the spirit of things. I need to talk to everyone. I'm just an egg. I gotta greet everybody so I can get like $500. If I got $500 for talking to people, I might be a little more motivated to, to socialize. Also, this rug was not here before. This plate of pancakes looks different. Yeah. This hanging plant, was this hanging plant always there? Extra object. Okay. I feel like the, the sprite for the saloon got updated and polished up. Because I don't think it looked like this refined. It's got that really rustic look to it now. Where it is? Well, it's uh, what was this character's name? Um, uh, uh, Granny Smith, Granny Smith's wife. And it's Vincent. Have a rock. I don't have a slingshot yet. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's do a little bit of. Let's get sidetracked a bit. I remember, like, I played this game before they made it, like, easier and more fun. I got the achievement for beating this game before they made it more fair. I'm pretty proud of that. I died over. I died on level one. But whatever. I'm not looking for like a long run this time. I just want to play this for old time's sake. So, it's a good power, the best power up in the game. I don't wasted it, but. So, when I was in high school and I was in a game development class, and one of our assignments was to like make a simple game. And what I did was. I made this game. I made Journey of the Prairie King in my game design class. Like, kind of one to one. When I submitted my proposal for like, hey, I'm gonna make this game, this is the plan. 
I don't think I gave too much detail. So my teacher might not have actually known what this was because he asked me to like explain. Maybe it's because I just said like, hey, I'm gonna make this game. And he wanted me to like actually elaborate and form a popular plan instead of just be like, hey, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna pick a clone of this. Also, I would have guessed you were gonna marry Shane. I think Shane is a pretty popular bachelor, to my surprise. I always thought uh, Sebastian would be the most popular one. Maybe that's because when Stardew Valley was brand new, like I was telling my friend like, hey, this new farming game came out, and uh, the best part about it, you could have gay marriages, and she was like, oh, um, that sounds great. Also, uh, she was a, flan a fan of Black Butler, so... Me guessing that she was going to marry Sebastian was a good guess, and I think initially she did, but then they made an update where you could marry Shane, and then Shane became her like number one husband. -o. For me, like if you played Stardew Valley with me before, if you've seen me like talk about it at all, you probably know who I'm going to marry because I don't really vary at all. My one pet peeve though is that like people think I'm like simple at I pick Abigail because she's like everyone's favorite, she's a cliche option. But I picked her before like she was popular. Because And get this. I like purple hair. And that was pretty much why I married Abigail. And then it turns out she's the wizard's daughter. Sorry for spoilers, but not really. And she is like magical. Yeah, so Abigail can sense magic. Wait, I have thirty-one dollars. I have thirty-one coins in this run. Okay, I I don't know if they buffed it or like if they buffed it again. Cause back in the day when I played this thing on hard mode, when this was like a half-assed mini game and it was really hard unfair. Like, I would get to this stage and I would have, like, four coins. That's it. And then I played it, like, when we were playing with the Zix and doing that run. And I played this game, mini game for fun. And I get to the first shop and I would have maybe 14 coins. But I'm here, day one of the new update, the 1.6 update. First shop, I have six lives and 31 coins. You know, I'm kind of not that like save this. Huh. Oh. Thirty-one coins. Okay, give me the the damage upgrade. That's a lot of coins. I don't know if this thing is like cracked or something. Actually, check. Okay, it's still saved. I want to like check a little thing, like in my off time. I want to like start a brand new Stardew Valley save file, and I want to go to that mini game again because I want to see if they really buffed that mini game or like if today is just a super lucky day. Like, if they buffed it again, I'm probably gonna like play it out in its entirety. But if today is actually a really lucky day, I might actually, you know, manipulate a few things to make sure I beat the minigame and I get the little furniture item. Also, it's time for a guide on my crop circle magic. So what you do is you talk, you till this square right here, right next to this little three circles here. You till this, you pick exit. And then you repeat this until it drops something. I don't think they patched this out because uh, this is not a bug. This is the way random loot drops are calculated. So the way it works is it's not RNG. There's like a hidden like 
Item dots for Peter Terrific. So, like, starter value operates on a grid based system. And the way it works is that on every tile, there is an item. And if you, like, interact with a tile on that tile with an item, it drops that thing. And every time you interact, like, the grid shifts over by one. So anyway, I got a piece of clay from this, finally, and then move over two and up one. Passed it out. Can't believe they patched it out. I have no space. Where have I been yet? Oh, you know what? You know, we could probably do a little, like, something. We could do a little funny business. Yeah. So I'm gonna, like, plant these tulip seeds right outside my house. Then I'm gonna, like, go to sleep. After I sell my foliage. I get more mixed seeds. Yeah, there's one more. I actually never plant mixed seeds because usually when I play Stardew Valley, it's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like fish for ten thousand dollars and then I'm gonna buy a hundred of the best crop. Playing with you and Zixlu, like that one time on that one file, it really encouraged me to, you know, branch out my strategies a bit more. Wait, did I sell the clay? I left the clay. I left it on the beach. I, I can't clean my clay again. Because I think I need some clay for a silo. And I need a silo so I can cut grass without wasting it. I think of it as littering. Like, I can cut grass. I love cutting grass. I played Legend of Zelda. When I was like 10 years old, I would go around cutting grass all day. Instead of actually playing the game. So yeah. I need somewhere to put the grass. Actually, that was kind of a joke. But now that I think about it. What if, what if I do like cutting grass? Because when I was a kid, like 13 years old, I played Farming Simulator 2013. So I saw some YouTubers play and it looked really fun. And when I say it looked really fun, what I meant was, wow, you can, you can cut grass in that game. I want to play that game too. And that was pretty much the whole reason why. Because it was, I watched the Yawks cast play Farming Simulator 2013. And they got this like mission in the game to come on down to the golf course and cut their grass. I should have chopped down some trees. I have no wood. I have no light. I need to chop down two and a half trees. With this remaining energy. So anyway, I watched the Yonks has played Farming Sim 2013. And they got the grass cutting mission. I thought, oh, we can cut grass. Let's let's do this mission. So the first thing they had to do was they had to go and uh, buy a lawnmower. And there was one really cheap one for like a couple of grand. Then the rest were like super expensive. So naturally they bought the cheap one. And cheap it was. It was like a little like tiny riding mower. And it, it drove at like, I think it was 20 kilometers per hour, so it was really slow. And the thing is, they bought it and then it spawned like at the store. So they got in it and they drove down to the golf course, which, mind you, is on the other side of the map. I didn't level up.
And the thing is, this mission was timed. So, like, by the time they actually got there, I think like, they ran out of time. Backpack is full. Oh, I gotta go see my Willy. And, wait. Oh, yeah. Loon, they made it so you can make text signs. You can, like, put text on a sign. Okay, I need a chest for sure. And I put my chest right here. And I color my chest. I color my chest later. You know what? Op open the little gate. them eat. Okay, so I said I was going to do some funny business today. Which... Okay, funny business requires a chair. Like, a one-by-one one chair. And these are one-by-two. I don't know if they'll work, but I can maybe try it. Okay, I might as well try it now. Because the thing is... If this doesn't work well, I could get stuck. And if I get stuck, I'm gonna have to like restart the day. Actually, alternatively, I could just play the game as intended and not break things. And I might actually do that. Like, although it is my nature to break games and stuff. Which is one of the reasons I'm good at testing games. I should probably have a little bit of respect for the game, but just a little bit, like not too much, of course. Like I'm gonna still disturb the squirrel. I'm gonna chop down the squirrel's home because I need the wood. Seventeen wood. I also can't wait to get into the the mines. I don't know if you were here when I did when I, I like described it, Loon. But uh, when I was making my character, I turned on like um an option, the anchovies. Oh, how am I taking that? So there's an option to remix the community center bundles and remix the mine rewards. And what that means is the community center requires different items, and the mine the mines on the, each 10 floors, it gives you a different item. And before, I have never done those options. And today, this run, this is the perfect opportunity to try them. Actually, there are some items exclusive to the remixed mines. My income is here. All kinds of fish. If it smells, it sells. It sounds like prostitution. Oh, there's bubbles. I'm... I have no range because I'm level zero fishing. Okay. So, the first fish you catch, like, it is guaranteed you cannot fail. So, like, see, I'm not even on it and the bar will not go down. There's, like, a little exploit that you can do with that knowledge. Where... It tracks your progress now. That's great. A little exploit where the first fish you successfully like hook onto, 
you cannot fail, and it will never be junked. And if you're ever playing a multiplayer game, what you can do is wait until like the Feast of uh, the, the Winter Festival. The Festival of Ice, the fishing in the winter one. And you go there, and what that does is every single like bite you get will never be trash. And every single fish you like hook onto, you cannot fail for like the entirety of the, the event. So if you do that, you're basically guaranteed to like, you know, beat all your friends that event because they're playing the game like as intended, but you go in all sweaty because you know the secret strats. I have no room. I should not chop down that tree. Because that tree gave me like 6 sap and 17 wood. So now I can't hold any of these valuable fish. I remember when Stardew Valley first came out. When it first came out and like people were complaining about the fish mini game, Like saying, oh it's too hard. They can't do it. And then somebody had to make a mod which is... Surprisingly pretty successful, that just deletes the fishing minigame altogether. Like, if you get a bite, you just get the fish. Oh, the bubbles are gone. Well, now it's gonna take forever now. But oh, the bubbles are back. Can I reach them? Alright. There. Yeah, people complain about the fishing mini games. Oh, that's so hard. And like, uh, my sister played Stardew Valley and did the fishing mini game, and she agreed that it was really hard. Oh, I dropped my fish. And like me, like I played the fishing mini game, and I I have to admit it was challenging, but I got the hang of it pretty quickly. And I was kind of surprised when so many people were complaining that this mini game was impossible and it ruins the game. And I was just. I got some new ideas to sleep on. Get some anchovies. What does that mean? Wait, wait, I have to pick them up. I have to put them in inventory. Sardine. I, have to, I can't believe I have to pick up the fish. Oh yeah. The true test of being a gamer is being able to fish in Stardew Valley. That's what I always say. Although, at level 0 fishing, it is a little challenging because your green bar is so tiny compared to, like, if you're a respectable level, like 4 or 5 or something. I don't have space for this. Can I, like, drop the other way? I got my sardines, can I just... I want to throw them out. You know what? I'll fish here. I think I leveled up fishing. Because that cast, I can now tell, is like much longer than a level 0 cast. Mm -hmm. So I must have leveled up by now. Which makes sense because I was originally level 0 fishing. And after all these casts and catches, I see pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good experience at least. One criticism I had about Stardew Valley skills is that you needed so much experience to max them out. Like, Going from level 9 to level 10 in the skill is like half the entire journey from going to level from level 0 to 9 in the first place. At level 1 fishing. 
How much time do I have for this quest? I probably could check the wiki and maybe it'll tell me like, oh, you can only catch anchovies at like 10 a.m. or earlier. And I could just be wasting my whole day here. Actually, I should go sell these fish. I'm not, I'm not getting that chest. I need to sell this fish. I totally forgot I could just sell the fish, like, on site. There's bait? Fish smoker? Jelly? Hanging fish? That's new. I think it's new at least. What's a fish smoker? What's jelly? Wait, does that mean you can catch a jellyfish? Is there now a jellyfish in Stardew Valley? I can't think of jellyfish like normally now, cause like XQC ruined it for me. So I, all I can think about now when I think of jellyfish is that one like thing he said where he's watching a, a nature documentary about jellyfish, and then he pauses and he just asks like, "Is jellyfish a herb?" Which I thought was like you know, funny meme. Like it's gonna go like highlighting his Topeka nature. Then I like I looked at the context for it and it makes sense, kind of. Because it was saying how jellyfish are herbivore, wait though, how turtles were herbivorous. However, on some occasions they ate they ate jellyfish. So yeah, he had to like pause and wonder about that. But still, the meme. Two out of three anchovies, and it's a gold star. Uh, keep still the sardine. Stardine. Did I just automatically throw that out? I don't think it once. Anyway. I hope this is the last sardine I need. Or like anchov anchovy. Because... Oh, it's a redeem star. I'm not risking to throw that out. I should probably sell my stuff before he closes. $60 herring. Sell my anchovies too. I'm doing all this for $90. Where, like, I catch a single fish. It's, I, I already make more than that. You know, I I got jelly. I got jelly. Is this a herb? Hey, Loon, I got jelly. Whatever this thing is. He, are you jelly? Do people still say that now? Cause I remember people used to say stuff like, "Are you jelly?" Like, ask someone if they're jealous. I have not heard that like for at least seven years now. So people might not say that anymore. I just want one more anchovy so I can finish this quest and spend my days elsewhere. You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for the mines to open. No, I think it's the 4th of spring. So I can go to the mines. 
because I like any game that lets you mine, pretty much. Which is basically any farming game. So I feel like I don't remember the last farming game I played that didn't have like some RPG dungeon crawler mechanics to it as well. This guy gave me more for a single fish I caught. That was not super worth it. But you know what? I, I got experience from that. Give my sap. Experience. And I got jelly. I don't know what this is for, other than like that you eat it, and you probably also use it for crafting the fish smoker, if I remember correctly. Shade. Okay. So, I don't particularly like Alex. However, he is one of the characters that has, like, the most character growth, like, out of every character. Especially if you play as a male. Like, and, like, you marry him and stuff. Because if you play as like a female, then he pretty much treats you like how you expect some high school like jock to treat a woman, which is based on what I've seen, uh, be more respectful. It's like I think in his two heart event as a female player model. There. You go to like to the beach or something and he tries to throw like his football to you and then you miss it Like regardless of what you do. He says oh it's not bad For a girl like it's no surprise you couldn't catch it because you're a girl and he says stuff like that And then sometimes when you just talk to him randomly as a girl he asks if you have a bikini which You know I would like to ask the same thing if I met someone but the thing is, I don't. What's happened I met yet? Have I talked to Penny? No. Who's left? I have so many people I need to socialize with. You know what? I haven't seen Clint yet. Have I talked to Gus? Wait, is anything for sale? Anything affordable, might add? Rice pudding. There's an old folk story about rice pudding, which I will not be telling today. Check the juice box. Huh. Okay. I want to check something with the, like the jukebox because I want to see if you immediately had every song available or if you had to unlock them as time went on. It looks like you have to unlock them as time goes on. Because one of my favorite songs is the one that Abigail plays during her, I think it's Six Heart event where you go like it's raining and like she plays her flute in the rain. That's one of my favorite ones. Maybe it's because it kind of shaped... Like... Shaped my perception of her. In a good way. Maybe it's because it was so, like... Such a memorable moment. Because even after you marry her, and her dialogue still references that hard event, and she says, like, how much she appreciates like, that moment that you shared together. So, while I was fishing, I got a little notification saying that, like, I have some new ideas to sleep on. Wait, I think I have an idea what that means. I th 
So naturally, it must have mean that you got new recipes. And that probably means you leveled up. So I think actually that's just an indication for when you level up. Which is... I was hoping you'll be more. But... Makes sense. Wait. I didn't get any new SPs. I mean, it's still probably an indication for when you level up. But... I thought I'd get some new SPs. Some weather forecast. I moved my TV. This is how you can tell if someone's a speedrunner in Stardew Valley. Like, they move their bed next to the door, move their TV right next to the bed. That's how you can tell. It is raining, so that, that's good in the fact that I don't have to water my crops. But also, my animals will not go outside. An egg. I got a hundred dollars for this egg in this trying time. You should find a level one craft scarecrow. You know, this would have been a lot easier if they actually gave me seeds in my starter pack, but instead they gave me a bunch of hay. Although, that's a good point. I kind of forgot you could just buy seeds yourself. I also forgot that I was going to name this chicken. Sell my eggs. You have to farm a little bit. Actually, I really should go buy some seeds. Which, which I would do today upon realizing that. However, today is Wednesday, my dudes. And if I remember correctly, Pierre's closed on Wednesdays. So, I'm going to be not doing that, actually. And iron ores. Oh, there's a star rating for like difficulty now. I would ex I'd love to accept this quest. However, as you might expect, you get iron from the mines. The mines on the third of spring in year one are not open. Okay, but also you get iron starting from floor forty and down. So. That's, that's not happening. If the mines are open today, I'm not getting that done. Like today or the next day. So, little complaint there. That's sort of a nonsense quest. What am I supposed to do today? Is Jojo open? I need to sell my soul. I feel like there's some sort of like vibe, like standing outside a store or some establishment, like an hour or two before they open, and then you just stand there in the rain waiting for them to open. You know what? Pierce is closed today, but JoJo's sure isn't. So actually, I'm gonna buy from JoJo. Even though JoJo is more expensive, unless you're a member, Pierce is literally closed, so it sucks to be him. But also, I am literally going the JoJo route this time, so this is totally in character. You know what? The lore. The lore is expanding. Jojo furniture. Wait. It's a Jojo furniture catalog? 
All right, I'm a JoJo stan now. Wait. Oh. They buffed the JoJo Cola. It now gives you speed for 21 seconds. And you can buy it in the store. You probably don't understand how significant this is. Like, this is not just the plus one speed for 21 seconds. This is the fact that you can buy Georgia Cola straight from the store. What that means is you can buy them in bulk without buying them one by one at a venting machine. That's significant because in the end game where you get a quest for like getting a hundred of each colored item, the easiest blue item is Georgia Cola. And so what you would do is you would sit at a vending machine for like half an hour real time and you would spam by Georgia Cola one by one. Which is pretty cheap, all things considered. At only like 7,500 gold, which by that point would be like nothing to you. That's what you do. I think what I, what I did with the next was we just used blueberries or something. Because I was scouring the wiki looking for a solution. Because in the multiplayer lobby, we were not sitting around buying 100 Georgia Colas. One time didn't even pause. So yeah. Anyway, here to buy seeds. And to complain about Pierre. I want 20 of these. Actually, hmm, I could instead buy cauliflower or potatoes. Okay, if I know my Stardew Valley facts, which I may or may not, I think cauliflower is a crop for money. And potato is the crop for farming experience. However, this is also Jojo Mart, so that means this stuff is more expensive to begin with. So, money is not really as valid of a pursuit. Now, I just could buy parsnips. Give me 20 of these. Was there. Where haven't I been? You know, you know, I haven't been to a Robin's yet. I want to see if Robin has anything new, which I'm expecting she will because this is a big update. Community center is probably locked because I haven't opened it yet. You know what? Okay, I got a lot of stuff on my agenda today. I need to go see uh, Caroline because I want to go start befriending Caroline to see if they nerfed the tea, tea saplings. Shop, if you do. Big chest! Yeah, that's nothing they added. They added a big chest that stores more stuff, which is really nice. Buy a birch chair. I could do the funny business if I buy a birch chair. What's your couch calendar? What bench budget TV? All that stuff. Gold brazier. Pretty sure there's solid stuff. Upgrade house, which I can't afford. Or, okay, now it says three days. That's a new change. Barn. Well. Did they also update like the icon for gold? Because I don't know if I had an icon before. So I need to make a... For the mines and get 10 clay for silos. The mill. Shed. Two days. Okay, I'm positive they updated the sprite for gold. I think before... There was just... No icon for it at all. Good. Instant build. 
Pet Bull. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. By constructing additional pet bulls, can you get additional pets? That's my question. Can I change appearance? I can change the appearance of the pet bull. You have different styles. Okay. Loon might want to hear this. Stable. Slime much. Big coop. Shipping bin. Instant. I didn't know that was instant. And that's all the stuff. Talk to this guy. As a kid, I always thought the Demetrius- Wait, I forgot to buy the chair. So, uh, like a while earlier in the stream, I was talking about having respect for the game. And how I should probably play the game as intended. Uh, you can forget I said all that, because now I have a chair. And the, the wild horse radish. It might have patched that. Plus. Oh, hey, no, I know that. I remember the trick now. That trick is going to take a while to execute. No, do I just. Yeah. Okay, so I think. That's just indication for the, when you level up a skill. Early mines? Nah. I could get the the early Krobus statue. Which I might do. Getting the, the Krobus statue early, I don't consider that cheating at all, because by the time you can get it legitimately, that's going to be like a year or three. You're going to be done playing the game by then. So I'll go through it, like, quickly. I'll demonstrate what you're supposed to do as I explore this place. And hydrate. Because of this is a sociable stream. This is a sociable stream. Morale is good today. I'm actually talking about stuff and enjoying the game. Wait, wait. What's this? Oh. Okay. I'm glad I'm fishing. So, this has to be like the end game thing, the do end game thing where you master all five skills. Good. I'm thinking back to that playthrough I did with Loon and Zix, and I did. I don't think any of any of us came close to mastering every single skill. I think like we each mastered maybe like one or two. Not a coal. I don't say coal ingot. Spring onions, a leek. Okay, I was okay, I was gonna describe what you do with Probus. So Loon, if you're still here, you might remember that I gave you an Iridium Probus statue. What you're supposed to do is you fish down here for the Iridium Krobus statue. But that's a long way away. But the higher your fishing level is, the further you pass. You need a fishing level of 15 to get down there. Which is only possible two ways. You need to have max fishing skill. And you either need to have regular seafoam pudding and the rod enchanted with the master enchantment. Seafoam pudding gives you plus four. The master enchantment gives you plus one. Or you have gold star seafoam pudding, which will give you plus five. Both of those come from a very end game source. 
So that takes a long time to do. What happened to me? Yet there's still Harvey and Linus Abigail, who is going to be my wife very quickly. Wait. The tree. That's new. There was not a giant tree there before. Yeah, that's gonna plant all the seeds. And put away my stuff. Okay, I need a good grid. It's good I think it's like five by four. Would be a good grid. And it got play. to water all these things like for four days. Wait, where's the nearest watering like water source? Am I actually gonna build a well? I'm actually gonna have to build a well. There's no water anywhere. Alternatively, I could just level up a bit of farming and get sprinklers. Which is probably what I'm going to do, actually. Let me, let me pause my stream preview, save some resources. Still looking at the collection, see if there's anything new at all. Wait, no, no. I know what I want to do. It's going to be a busy day. A busy save file, actually. I want one of these. I'm going to give it to Caroline. Also, your house did not have a brick wall before, so that is 100% new. Okay, where's Caroline? Where's Caroline on a rainy day? I need to talk to this guy, RV. Who's new? Oh, tonight, I remember that complaint. Oh, he's closed. he's closed on Wednesdays. He at least open his door, let people come in, and disturb his home. Well, time to go fishing. Either fishing or foraging on the beach. So, I'm not actually a Stardew Valley speedrunner. However, I do want to play this efficiently and I do want to try to maximize my time. And that's why I'm running all over the place with no goal in mind. But I have one now. Yeah, I have, I have an idea now. I want to chop down some trees so I can get the wood to fix the bridge. And then I can go get some coral. Risk my life for coral. Which should also give me a decent source of foraging experience. So I'm getting 300 wood. Shouldn't be too hard to get if I just spend a day or two chopping trees and cleaning up the farm. This is what I call land development, by the way. 
It's what some people call colonization, but we'll get to that part later. There's a tree going there. I'll let that one grow. Then, as soon as the moment is opportune, I will chop it down for resources. Because that's adulthood. It's a little bit tall order, but I can get it. Okay, I, I am wondering one more thing. In a multiplayer Stardew Valley lobby, you can like sit in the bed to recover energy passively throughout the day. And you couldn't do that in single player, it only worked in multiplayer. So what I want to know now is if you can now do that in single player. Because I feel like you really should. But I kind of doubt it. I feel like... i do a bit of small chops. 14 energy. 12. 8. 6. 4. Three, one. Got like one third of the wood needed. I gotta sell this muscle. Actually, okay. If I want to play this smart, I should probably like not sell everything and actually think about some money, about finances, which is probably good advice for real life too. Yeah, you still can't do the thing in single player. Did I get anything? Use drop seeds. Wild seeds for spring. A little bit of money. Okay, the fourth. I think now the mines should be open. Anything new here? Wait. Spring onions. Need a weather report. Was it the fifth? Yeah, I can pop this chair away. Water everything. I can't get the food. It's Thursday, so not Friday. So, okay, we need a gold egg, gold star egg. What's my plan today? I think the mines are still closed. What my stuff? What am I gonna do? I need to go see Caroline. Give them a daffodil. Wait. Oh, that's probably normal. I saw the, the pet water bowl was filled and I didn't fill it. It's probably the rain. 
in its stage because I don't have a pet to consume it yet. Which, when I do get the pet, I have an idea what I'm going to name it. I kind of forgot what the idea was, but I had it. It was there for a second. Someone's almost Lucy's birthday. Small mouth, bass. Sure, pass the time a bit. open. Where's Caroline? Okay. I haven't talked to Abigail yet, which is a shame, because I gotta start building up that friendship. How much cheaper is Pierce Seeds, actually? Yeah, they're like... 20% cheaper, actually. Yeah. But still, we stand Jojo here. And I didn't do, actually. This is a dehydrator. You can make dried fruit now? That's new. Yeah, you know, I'll write that down. Dried fruit. I need, to, I need to check that out. It's been so long since I've seen any like Stardew Valley content, so I don't remember like all the intricacies. I thought it was like sometime within the first week that you unlock the community center. And by extension, the Georgia membership. And I thought it was the fourth of spring that you unlocked the mines. I check. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, they're still there. Okay. I need to catch two small mouthed bass. Which I believe you catch here, and there are bubbles right there. So I'm fishing here instead. The bubbles are gone. First catch, oh, large small. I was, I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say, like, I'm gonna actually try and play the quest as you'd expect. Largemouth bass is actually a pretty difficult fish to catch. Because I think pretty early on, you get a quest from Jody to catch a largemouth bass so she can make dinner with it. And the first time I tried doing that quest, it was so hard to catch, like, a largemouth bass. Because, like, I recognized the, the fish patterns of a largemouth bass. And what I saw back then, was undoubtedly a large mouth bass. And it was so hard to catch, like consistently. And I just catch it first try, nearly perfected it. I need small mouth bass. I just, I perfected a large mouth bass. I've really come a long way since like 2016, which is, to think about. After I catch this next one, I gotta do a thing quick.
and I'm back. I still need to catch two small mouth bass. I should probably cast him to the right actually, because it's landing close to the shore of the other side. And when you cast close to the shore, you get like lower quality fish. Why am I catching all the hard fish? Okay, I knew I, I'm a lot better than what I was like eight years ago, but I didn't think I'd be this good. some smallmouth bass at some point. I'm pretty sure you catch them in this in this body of water here. Because this is the mountain lake. And I know for a fact for sure this lake is where you catch large mouth bass. So can I get this chest? No. I was gonna go for it but I, I caught the fish. So I'm pretty sure you catch largemouth bass and smallmouth bass in the same body of water. It makes sense. Like, if you asked me eight years ago, I probably would have thought like, oh, the smallmouth bass is just them, like when they're juvenile. But it's a pretty good chance that it's probably two separate fish. I don't know how people name animals, because like the other day I saw like a bird and it was apparently called uh, the 12 wired bird of paradise or something. And it looks like something a four year old would draw. I wonder if I can drink a fish at the same time. Probably not, since I need two hands to open my drink. I hope these are worth a lot. I was gonna take a drink. How much are these worth? They'll tell me, right? Good amount. Good amount, actually. But still. I need smallmouth bass. I was going to check something, like, does time freeze when you're fishing in single player? Because I thought it did, but I never, like, confirmed it. Holy oh, gold star. Okay. I need to get a bigger backpack. Because I do not want to end up like Zix's Granny Smith, going through the whole game with the basic backpack. I don't want to end up like that. My ambitions are too great for to be limited like that. I'm starting to doubt if you can actually catch the fish here. Like it might be a time thing. If I don't catch it today, like with this energy bar, then I'm probably gonna try a different body of water. But I, but I thought my expertise would like carry me. Either that or the game is spiting me, trying to make me gaslight myself into thinking that you can't catch them here. Pretty sure you can. I just have not caught one in like the 11 fish I've caught so far. Despite smallmouth bass likely being a more common fish. And instead I've caught three of 
uh, rarer and more difficult fish, one of which has been perfected. Two of which have been perfected. <laughs> At least. Ah. This fish got me. It didn't it didn't jump up. And it made me not perfect it. Carp. The amount of shame I get when, like, a fish gets me and I don't perfect it. I've been doing this for eight years. I better know how to perfect a fish. Silver large milk bass. How much do these sell for, actually? Because these carp are probably, like, worthless. They're worth, like, 30 gold. How much is a large milk bass? 100. And it's silver, so I can probably get rid of the... those. Alternatively, actually, I could eat these. I could just eat these fish raw, because they're just going to waste otherwise. They don't give me more energy to actually catch more fish with this stuff. Can you eat these raw fish? Raw carp. Not a lot of energy, but at the very least, I'm consuming them. They're getting consumed in the literal sense. I want to see if I can drink the fish. It's a bit of a hassle to not drink with one hand. Then I'm going to fish with one hand while focusing on another activity in real life. <laughs> it is a bit more difficult to drink fish. I need to talk to this man. I no longer need to talk to that man. Level 3 fishing. I think that's up from 1. Such pretty good. Actually, what I should probably do is I should save all my fish and not sell them until I get to level 5 fishing. And then I'll pick the, the skill that gives more value for fish. And I'll make 25% more on all the fish I catch. I'm keeping that as a tribute to our Lord and Savior, Georgia Mart. Give me a smallmouth bass. This seems like uh, either a bullhead or a largemouth bass. Yeah, it's a bullhead. Mm -hmm. 
I want to I want to know how crazy it looks when I look at some arbitrary fish movement and I immediately be able to call what fish it is. Like this is a carp for sure. Yeah, it's a carp for sure. I don't know how crazy that looks. It's like an arbitrary movement and be able to call it. It's a fun skill to have. I should probably like start heading home now. Talk the newspaper. Throw that back where it came from. Or not. This seems like could be a carp. A chub. Yeah, I saw it move a little erratically there, but that could have been an anomaly. Carp chub would have been my second guess. What did I miss? I miss having... That's new, I'll write that down. I miss having the glory and actually being able to see at night. Just putting on two of them and becoming like a beacon in the, in the night. According to Loon's words. Barely even see. I water my plants, right? I, I can't see a thing. Unless I get a little torch. Torch magic. I get one torch, I'd like that too. Oh, well, that, that'll do. Wait. Is that a... I thought I saw something. I might have. Wait, I can't make money. I need to... No. No selling today. We're holding our stonks. Pots. I wonder if I can move the coop. <laughs> oh, it's time to name the cat. Now I just need, I need to remember what was I gonna name it. Because I had an idea set in place, but I forgot what it was. It's not Miwo. I thought of that later, after realizing I probably should have picked the black cat. I will adopt this cat. It's Papa. Willow. Shish. That's Sodi. Sodi. I had something in place. Uh... I think it was... Nico. I think that was it. I thought of this before realizing this was a one-shot reference. This is not supposed to be a one-shot reference, but I guess it is now. I hope you can change it, but I don't think you can. But I will live with it. Oh, I just gonna drink the water now. The rain filled that up. Wait, can I get the mines now? Okay, that mouse. It's Georgia, our lord and savior. Right, another thing. Yeah. 
Give me my things. Parsnips. Still no farming level. Anyway, today is gonna be a busy day. So I need to take care of actually my farm and animals, regrettably. And then I need to rush to the mines as soon as possible. The food. I'm running out of food. Like, yeah, I could just, uh, like, leave the door open, let them eat the grass, which is spreading at a very nice pace. However, no. They will, they will not live a nice life. The axe, pickaxe. I might need the axe, actually. But I probably won't need the scythe. We're going to the mines, finally. Where I belong. Six feet under. And more. Creating a new world. I wonder why, like... Why do they bury people six feet under, exactly? Like... It probably, like, should be deep enough. But, like, why exactly? If I had to guess, it's probably like the minimum, like, legally allowed depth. So they just do that and call it a day. I've never worked with Grave Diggers before, but I feel like they really gouge their prices. I should probably grab that thing. This bush always here. They gave me my wild horseradish. Okay, I think I think he still gives me like a rusty sword, but I do have a remixed mines, so he might give me something different. Gives me a rusty sword. Okay, I want to rush down there. Okay, fun fact. Still gotta catch the fish. I'm not gonna catch this. I might as well give it up. Okay, so on year one, on spring 5th. There's a little a trick. On this exact day, I think if you go to an exact floor, and it'll be a certain layout for sure. And in the top right corner or something, there will be a barrel. And if you break that barrel, it will drop a weapon. I, I'm way too fresh on the... Last time I played Stardew Valley with Looting Zix, because I feel like I feel the slowness on this thing. And I feel the slowness on my whole body from being slimed. made the mines more vicious because like right as I dropped down there's like four slimes and a crab and that thing which I will probably not be donating to the museum because that's common I will instead be giving that to my future wife actually I'll give this one instead I wonder if I should, like, pause buffer. 
Okay, when I find a staircase, I'm gonna demonstrate pause buffering. Which is a surprise technique that'll help me later. But the idea is, the moment you like go down a staircase, you open your inventory to pause the game. Oh, Geo. Yeah, I need to eat this Geo. I mean, I mean, I need to eat this algae. Kind of worked. A little bit sloppy on the execution, though. I should eat this food. Oh, freebie. That's a monster for sure, I can see that. There's no fool of me there. To experience for this. I don't remember exactly what floor it was, but I think it's going to be a little challenge to actually get there. I think it's like full floor 24 or 28 or something. Hey, your ring. Small clover ring. I can see. Okay, so after this day, I'm going to get visited by Clint because he's going to see I have one copper ore. And then he's gonna give me the recipe for a furnace. I'm a clopper or a clopper or. No doggy. There's no doggy. Still a mining skill. I don't remember exactly what gives you mining experience. Cause like, I know for sure like when you break ore, you get mining experience. But I think there are a lot of rocks that give no experience when you break them. I think the gray rocks give like one experience or something. I think, like, the regular brown box gives zero. There's a Dougie. I, I gotta pick up coal, too. I'm not gonna be able to smell all this stuff. I really should have bought that bag. But I had no money because I spent it all on seeds. Which I'm probably going to sell later. And we'll then turn your profit. I need this thing. Slime. Can't get rid of. Probably. Probably get rid of the slime. I need this thing too. Gotta eat all these cave carrots. Fun fact, you can press Y on that prompt and it will auto select yes. A little bit of time save there. Things you don't know. There are a bunch of little tricks from Stardew Valley that a lot of people probably don't know. Like, you probably knew that you couldn't, like, uh, shift click to buy or craft five at a time. But did you know that you can control shift click to do 25 at a time? I bet you didn't know that one. I don't know if I'm, if I'm making this milestone. I have this one in for floor 10 today. But that's gonna be tough because I ran out of food. 
94. Mug me as well. I can come back for more later anyway. Or eight. I gotta conserve my energy. I don't have the energy to uh break the ores. I leveled up. I leveled up from oh breaking a normal rock, but I think it drops coal. So if a if a rock drops something, then you get experience for it. Maybe this is the floor. This is not the floor. But it's it's that layout. This this floor layout with some crates on the top right. This is the place. It's just not the right floor. It's the right place at the wrong time. And this freebie staircase right there. And an amethyst, which I'll be taking for my wife. And the quartz, which I'll also be taking for my wife. I have no space. So, I hope this is something that I can actually hold on to. It's probably not gonna be. So this is remixed lines, I don't know what there is. Oh shoes. I can hold these. Staircase. Yeah. Yeah, long hallway. I'm really gonna try and stretch out this run. There should be a guaranteed freebie staircase at the end of this long corridor, as well as a minecart full of coal, just like this. A force to spend energy and a free staircase. I'll take it. Lots of grass. I like cutting grass. Seeds would, would probably be a good pickup, but I can't afford the space. And Ener energy's at a premium right now. I hate these things. This is what it is. So are these are like statistics then. Like my deepest floor in the mines, my house level. Staircase. Floor 15. I'm really stretching this as far as possible. Floor 15 on day one is pretty good. Especially under equipped. Free staircase. And these things, which I have to kill as soon as possible. Which I will not be doing. Because I have. Although there is white algae there, and I can eat that thing. Things.
a lot of bug meat. I probably should pick some of it up, but I can't really throw anything away. Except for a tool, which I'll probably get back the next day anyway. And there's a freebie right there. There's a freebie right there the whole time. I'm not going to get that thing. Another freebie. Free food. What are those? Carrot seeds. I hate this buzzing. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna leave. After I grab this one copper. I like to a little bit. We'll talk to Sebastian. Okay. Okay, one of my goals is I want to uh, marry Abigail before the end of year one. Which... Which, if you really try and you know what you're doing, you can do fairly easily. Just as long as you're not sloppy. Which, the time I played with Luna's eggs, I probably was like pretty sloppy. And I just barely missed it. Like, day one of winter, the last, like, the day after last deadline, I got her to 10 hearts. And then, I could have bought the mermaid pendant, but it was winter. And it doesn't naturally rain in winter. So I couldn't get it. Three days to grow. Three days. That's faster than the parsnip, isn't it? Gotta refill my water. Gotta touch the cat. Mining. Combat. I get a bug state. I can craft my own food now. Like in a pinch. Because if I have to craft that, I will be in a pinch. He's gonna give me a furnace. I have to craft it myself. I'm just gonna take like 20, uh, 20 copper ore and like 25 stone or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's 20, 20 copper ore. Yeah, 25 stone, 20 copper ore. I played the game for far too long. What's fishing bait? And the pole. If I if he gave me this quest yesterday, I, I would have had it, because like floor two, there's like four slimes right away. Wait, I might as well get some stuff going. Give me the coal and stone. I'll craft a furnace. I don't think I have enough water for this. I don't know what I expect of this farm layout, but I kind of thought, I kind of hoped it would be like the meta overpowered new farm layout. But in reality, it's not that great for anything other than animals. I don't even know what the bluegrass does. Like, I think the only selling point is that you start with a coop and two chickens, 
and you get bluegrass. I don't even know what bluegrass does. I'm opening the gates. Let them eat bluegrass. How many levels? Or 18 in the mines. Wait. I don't know what this third one is. I don't even have enough uh, copper to get a silo. Be right back. I'm gonna take a bio break and then I'm gonna probably get back to the mines.
Okay, I'm back. I said I'd take a bio break, but I also made a, a hot drink. Because I felt like it. What was I doing today? Oh. So. What I might do is I might go fishing today. Can't make that. Still... Still beating everybody. I think I have of my stuff today. Oh, I gotta check the quest board. I contemplate. Wait, I might be a beer thing. I contemplated, like. What, what I contemplate again? I forgot what I contemplated. I don't remember. But, but I do remember that I wanted to chop down a bunch of trees and repair the bridge on the beach. So, I planned from the beginning to sell the community center and go Georgia, but it could be a good idea to do some of the bundles. So, it's like, you get some rewards, and then it saves you a lot of money in the Georgia, the Georgia forms. However, if I truly want the full whole Georgia experience. Maybe I should just like sell it. Sell it like right from day one. Is that spread change? up again and then what you have to do is you have to inspect the thing which is a very common mistake speedrunners make they just get the cutscene and they don't actually inspect the thing i wonder if i could buy the membership now i can't afford it because it costs five thousand gold because that route's all about money and if you've got that route you better have money which i currently do not have Wait. Okay, I need to give Caroline another uh, daffodil. Just find one. Well, it's now available. I could buy it before even like even thinking about re restoring the community center. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, I gotta get the daffodil. Can't really be sloppy. 
Well, I can. Like, I, I can get some slack, but I want to maximize my time. So that's what George is all about: efficiency and optimization, instead of having a good time. Do I even have a daffodil? I don't know if I do. I mean, like, I know I had a couple, but I'm, I'm, I said, I meant to say I was running out. There's so many things to do. Like, I gotta chop down so many trees to fix the bridge, which is going to give me, like, a nice little boost on foraging. And I gotta max every single skill, so I gotta get there. I forgot the gift for my wife. I know what she went. She could be outside or she could be just in her greenhouse. How do I play this out? I, I still need to talk to everybody, and that's going to give me a nice little injection of money. An amethyst. Which I will not be donating to the museum, because my wife is more important. I'm going to chop down some wood. I see my cat ears sticking out from the tree. Six wood. I'm gonna need so much. How do people do this on like day one? Probably because they use like animation canceling and stuff. Wait, is that the shrine up there? I see some stairs. That might be it. That's gotta be it, right? Wait, no, that's... That's the warp totem. It's a teleport point. Where's the shrine? So many things I need to do. I gotta get clay, I gotta get some more copper so I can build the silo, so I can actually cut all this grass. I gotta actually replant trees for the sake of my resource economy, or else I'm going to suffer massively later on. And if I'm planning to like take this update all the way, I'm gonna have to go a long way. So I'd better set this up right. I know where everybody went now. I probably had a chance to do, like, year one flower dance. Where did that be? Oh, there. Have a thing.
Wait a second. They changed the favorite gift dialogue. Yeah, I need to... You know what I hope they don't change ever? I hope they don't ever change, like, the Abigail Rock Eater allegations. I should give records because I want to see if, like, she still says she eats rocks. Even if they did change it, like, in my heart she'll always be a rock eater. What is Lewis like? Time to consult the Stardew Valley Wiki. Lou. He. He likes things that I can't get yet. I could buy some food from the saloon. That'd probably be a good idea. Small investment. Spaghetti. Salad. Everybody buys salads because like it's cheaper, it gives a ton of energy. Like half a whole energy bar. For two hundred dollars though. Okay, oh, smell that's a salad. He knows I'm here for the salad. Good amount of energy. I need to talk to Haley. Who's left? A bunch of people and George. I think I have about 200 words, so I only need about 100 more. I also need to do a bunch of fishing. Because I need to raise my fishing level to 5 so I can get the skill and then actually sell all my fish for a large injection of money. Clean up the inside of the coop. I would scale the wood. Maybe like the stone. I eat him. I got farming experience. I forgot petting your animals gave you experience. Yeah, they're gonna sell their eggs. Less. I don't have a kitchen yet. Almost have all the wood. Actually, I should really plant like the, tr the trees back. I'm gonna suffer later. Suffer in. Also, I got is the secret woods. I probably could do that and get a little head start on the slime hunting. Alternatively, I could go fishing in there and potentially get some more valuable fish. Probably with extreme difficulty fishing because.
because those fish probably aren't very simple. Okay, what's that? I think I'm on fairly good pace for something. Echo kill. Sauce. <laughs> awesome. I think. Needle well. Badly. Could also be good because. I don't know, it's still level 1. I did get a gold parsnip though. How much do we parsnip sell for? Or do I have to sell them before it tells me the price? That's one little inconsistency I, inconsistency I hope they change. The fact that you have to, like, sell a crops to know the price of them, but anything else, you just need to have it, and then it tells you the price. The traveling carts also, should also be here. Giant tree is still there. Hopefully, there should be some forage like on the ground somewhere. I need to pick some up for the foraging skill. Let's see, ancient seeds for 500. Very nice. It's cheaper than the rare seed. However, If these get struck by lightning again, I'm going to have some thoughts. Ancient seeds for 500. Also, I'm 100% getting a scarecrow. Because these better not get eaten or destroyed in any way, shape, or form. I feel like they freshened up the walls of this place a little bit. Maybe I'm just looking at it more. There is something I'd like to like check out though. I doubt it's going to do anything, because I don't think they put that much attention to it. What I want, what I'm curious about is, what if you buy the, the Georgia membership before meeting with the wizard? Is he going to be like, here are the forest spirits that you have to help them, or he, is he going to immediately acknowledge that you sold them out? I want to I want to find out cuz like if I had already sold it and then they like, constructed the community center into the warehouse a gold store probably shouldn't be there
Fucking with the forest. I get high again. But what if I just skipped all this and instead just immediately sold them out to Georgia? I got plus five energy. I check my wallet now. Do I have the uh, forest magic? Okay, that is new though. Like it didn't have an icon before. And oh, so that's that's what this is. Beauty center. I wonder what it's gonna look like if I go with Georgia. Yeah, I'm probably gonna find out. I believe I got ancient seeds for 500 to steal. I should also make a scarecrow. 50 wood. I got a lot of stuff. Whatever. Some coal and. Some grass. I got a hundred cheese. That tree's not gonna grow now, but whatever. I don't care for the trees. Gifts reset, so I can give people more stuff now. Daffodil. I'm gonna give Abigail a port and see what uh, they say. I hope they did not change the dialogue for this. If, if they did, then... I might look for a mod to change it back. Because at this point, it's too iconic. I don't have anything for Lewis. Herring. Sure. She's in her room. They're in their rooms. I can't get to them. I'm gonna wait around all day. I'll come back later. You talk to this guy. I need to never talk to him again. Sardines. Spring foraging. Sticky bundle. Winter foraging. So this stuff looks mostly the same. I mean, spring foraging could be pretty simple. 
Except I only have one daffodil. <laughs> and I'm really considering just going the full Georgia experience. The herring, right? I catch herrings here, I think. I think. What do I catch herrings again? Is it a redfish? It might have been the little redfish. Which, still, I think you catch here. I thought I caught some earlier. Start start the game. Which is the new eighteen hundreds? Oh, herring. I can just buy them back. It just like that. Yeah. Stonks. Now I wonder if my wife and her mom are out of their rooms yet. They better be. So I can give them goods. Hey, they're coming out. I knew it would work. They did. They didn't change it. The timeline remains stable. Out of the way. I was so glad they didn't change it because it's iconic. Where's Linus now? I have, I have his herring for him. I guess while I'm nearby the mines, I should, like... Uh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Did I feed my animals yet? I did not touch my animals today. And I'm too far. Talk to them. Fish. Okay, I'm down like two inventory spaces, which is pretty bad considering I have the basic backpack. But I don't expect this to be a really super big excursion to the mines today. A while ago, when I went to go take a bio break, I made myself a hot drink. Consider making more, but I am almost out of milk, and I kind of need that to make my hot drinks. Because I don't want to like destroy my voice, especially considering on Friday I've got big plans, big plans for a lethal company collab with Miri the Giraffe and her community, and I'm probably going to have to make charge a lot during that. So I better have my 
commanding voice ready. And not destroyed. I also got geodes. I could probably could crack those old necklaces. And worst case scenario, just sell them. I think cracking open geodes is great value anyway. Because you get some like comparatively valuable gems. Comparatively valuable to the price of opening them up. It's like gacha according to Loon. And she's right. I do like cracking open the geodes. By initiation, two. Okay. Is this a monster? No, it's a rock. It looked a little bit suspicious. I don't want to see. I want to see like a uh, a unique slime. I need a new weapon. Like badly. I hate the rusty sword so much. Cause I'm doing like ones, twos, and threes. Oh, this this it's a this thing. With a jade in it. Alright. I gotta remember, keep this jade like on hand at all times. Surprise tool that will help us later. Much, much later. But I'll be glad I had some. the spiral floor. I hope there's a freebie somewhere on this floor. But even if there's not, as long as I find the staircase, I'll hit floor 20, like right to the next floor. And then, that should be, I think, another loot room. Or... Seeds. I should probably pick up. Oh, look, a thing, a staircase. Space. Okay, what is this gonna be? A ring. Pretty good. Maybe. A staircase, maybe we can hit 25 if I'm lucky.
Mega Man 25. That was pretty lucky. I should probably head back now, though. If I find a cherry bomb, I should open the door. My skill is looking. I probably would have been notified if I level up a skill. I don't I just don't really want to spin myself too thin because I want to get some stuff done. Wait, I have no energy. I was gonna chop trees, but I don't have energy. Let's get the scythe. I didn't touch my animals. Oh well. I can't wait to buy an auto better for the Jojo part. Parents are ready. I'm still level one farming though. Wait a second. These are great for energy. Salads may have just become class. Except you can buy salads. I shouldn't worry about that too much yet. Oh, another daffodil. I need those. And lots of them. If one responds there, then... Wait. How much wood do I have? If I'm headed down this way, I should probably... Fix the bridge. Okay, exactly the correct word. I'll smell nearby later. Okay. In a few more days. I'm gonna like see the bookseller, but actually, 
Wait, what is this? I need to know what this is. High priority. But first, I need to go fix the bridge. Where's that ticket though? I have like an idea what it might be. But the bridge. Oh, uh, a worms. Do I get a collection for that? I don't think I do. Caroline is like out and about. Because. How long after that? Two days. What's the reward? 300G and a ticket looking thing. So I can probably throw all these away. I probably should throw away the bamboo pole too. I was worried about that left. Jazz. Then I'll get an injection of $500. Double check. More rock grabs. Theoretically, it shouldn't be that hard. Theoretically. A leak. That's gonna be food. Bubbles. Okay, so I might as well continue making it to the iron floors. So I gotta keep that for like these. These. I can see that's one for sure. Because it's slightly off center. And there's no shadow under it. One of four. Good pace. Good progress. I don't see any standing out. At this point, I feel like parrying does more damage than actual swing. I'm here for rock crabs, so I shouldn't get too bogged down by ore. Even though there's a lot of good ore here. see any. I could just take the easy way out and just refresh floors. And what that means is I just take the elevator to a floor and then go back up to zero and then repeat that until I get what I want. Still gotta do the initiation as well. I did patch up like the club thing too. I hope they kept that in. Although he has said that it's not intentional behavior. So there's a chance that the club trick might have been patched out. 
if someone went with a club weapon, you right click to slam, and then you spam left click to do another slam, like instantly. It sends stuff flying, and does like a hit of damage for each click. Crabs. You know what? What happened to like my good luck from when I played with Loot and Zix? There's one. When like I got a forest sword on like floor eight, which is like the best sword you can get at this like early stage. It's halfway done. And it's a freebie. Containing soil. Shoes. For one defense. I could probably throw those away. Oh, nah. There's nothing here. Is there supposed to be anything there? There's nothing there. Okay. In the, in the interest of farming rock crabs, I think I need to stay on the lighter floors. Lit floors. Okay. My idea is I want to finish this quest, see what those tickets are, and then I'll probably wrap up. I'm approximately halfway there. Squid room on the chair. I'm not gonna pick up that thing anyway. little things. I think they don't transform unless you like attack them. I hope that's the case. Because I don't want them to turn. the rock crabs. There's one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, four. I got a bomb. With this, I need that. I can probably get rid of the iron. But I'm almost done. I should be able to make it. I just need like one more. Freebie. But that looks like a suspicious rock. That's for sure a suspicious rock. Not a suspicious rock. And neither were those. Like I'm playing observation duty again. I just hope at least one of these has a staircase, because I don't. Okay.
I was gonna say I don't want to like walk back all the way around because I missed all the good rocks, all the densely packed rocks. If I need space, I should probably like eat some of these cave carrots. Ice the staircase. Yeah, I could just reset it right now, actually. That would probably be a lot faster. I just need one more imposter. What I might do is I might actually just commit to fully resetting. I should probably do floor 25 actually. Because then I could just like take the elevator and not have to run from the stairs to the elevator every time. And that would technically give me infinite time. Yeah. Resetting with floor 25 is probably smarter. And there's the mysterious gem node with an emerald in it. Probably throw in bug meat. That's easily farmable. No sus rocks. I should, I should zoom out for these. Those are all normal. Those all look normal. It's a little gem node with a diamond. Diamond. Early diamond. I think you're not supposed to get diamonds before a floor it's like 50. So that was a lucky. Can spawn on floor 25, right? I thought that might have been it for one second. I don't think it is though. At, at this rate, I don't think I'm gonna make it to bed. Still have another day. I'm determined. I'm doing this until like till two AM. I'm starting to think maybe they can't spawn on floor 25. Maybe it's like they don't spawn on multiples of 5. I don't want to deal with that thing. I might as well like break some rocks. I 
pick up this mushroom. It's probably gonna be worth a lot of uh, forage experience. So just throw these away. And then exit the mine. Then just I don't know. Huddle up in Linus's tent or something. Move over. Look he's shivering. To mining. I was inside of his tent. No, actually, I'm probably not gonna save this day, but I want to see what like that ticket is. So I should probably empty my inventory. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna save this day anyway. Just throw it all like to the ground. I'm pretty sure it won't save. I think it only saves when, like, you sleep. I think it would be pretty brutal if in certain day to make it so you couldn't save scum anymore. So I think he's a pretty generous game developer. Let's do what I did before. From floor 20 to 30. Well, these wait. Okay. Maybe I will go. Maybe I will do this day. There he is. Prize ticket. Prize ticket. The prize machine in Lucy's house. I'll take my three hundred dollars. Is this like a currency like that you buy stuff with? Is there another store? Because I think I remember the the sneak peek notes saying that there was another incentive to doing the community board quest, which I think was greatly needed because nobody did them. But they give you such small amounts of money. All right. Hit me with it. What is this thing?
Yep, I'm in it for the prizes. True Georgia spirit. So, is it is this like a store, or do I like like insert this ticket the moment that I interact with it? That magic bait, twelve carrot seeds. I'm gonna hold on to these for now. I don't think I have a gift today. I don't think I did, considering I rushed straight to the mines. Where's Abigail? There they are. They added multiple lines of dialogue for the same favorite gift. This is good. But I just gave them their favorite stone. What I'm gonna do now, since I accomplished my main goal, and now I've got like the whole day ahead of me, I got pet my animals too. And water my one ancient seed. Well, I guess I could chop trees. I could use some more chests. I think of the fastest way to deplete my energy. It will either be fishing or chopping trees. But I think I'll do trees. Treason. This is a pretty fast way to deplete energy. Especially chopping down a bush with a, an axe. That'll do it. And so, actually, if every character has unique lines of dialogue, multiple unique lines of dialogue for their favorite gift, I wonder what everyone else's like line is gonna be. Wait, there's no one ultimate true favorite gift, is there? So does that mean there's unique lines of dialogue for like every individual loved gift? That might be the case. My wood away. Sneeze. Okay. Good enough for now. Day. The 
just spent all my energy in a spare day, unexpectedly. We just lost. Yeah, it's a good place to call it, I think. It's on the raid. Probably Miri. Yeah. They usually go for a while. They're pretty much a staple raid for me at this point. Yeah. They're playing a game with a really long name. I got to double check what it was. Playing. Master Detective Archives Rain Code. It looks like this is a pretty interesting game. I didn't expect it to look this interesting. But yeah, let's see. Oh, Friday. Friday for uh, 4 p.m. EST. Big Lethal Company collab with Miriday the Giraffe and her community. With mods. It'll be a big day. The next week. I'm probably going to incorporate a lot more Stardew Valley into like my schedules because I want to explore all these things, see what everything does. Yeah. First, the person who started the fires must be the culprit. 